my the force wish list now when i mean wish list i mean what i want the game to look like when it's gonna be released as a disclaimer i know the game is still in alpha version 0.72 actually. By the time the video is released, it might be 0.73 version, but I was making this video during the transition from 0.71 to 0.72. This is some of my ideas to put in the game so it makes it more interesting, more balanced, and more fun. So this video is going to be separated into four categories, items, graphical upgrades, mechanics, and bug fixes. First starting with items, number one. It would be cool to have binoculars in the game so we can observe some stuff at the distance. Right now, there's no way to do that except for the pistol, the flare gun. Imagine seeing a mutant in the distance or something you want to observe, but you can't really do that. Number two. Turtle shells right now are just useful for sliding and making water collectors. You can also block with them. It would be kind of cool to have an offhand shield with the turtle shell. Maybe combine a turtle shell with something else to make a shield. Something kind of like Skyrim, which is the best example I can give. Number three, brighter flashlight. The flashlight currently is the best portable lighting source, but it's not very bright. I wish a flashlight could actually be brighter, so the trouble of going and getting it in the cave is actually worth it. To me, it seems the flashlight just doesn't fill the screen enough. Number 4. Usable watch. The watches in the game are currently only available to make bombs. It would be cool to have a usable watch so you can know the time, wherever you are, in caves or outside the caves, and how much time you have left before you have to head to base. It could be a kind of waterproof watch to differentiate it from the other watches. Number 5. Flamethrower with lighter and deodorant. It'd be interesting to have a flamethrower abilities with the deodorant or a hairspray. It could actually be used to set things on fire instead of using molotovs which aren't really useful or the flare gun which is actually not at all supposed to be used that way. Number 6. Old instant print camera that gives frameable pictures. I think it would be very cool to have an old instant print camera with which you can take pictures and frame them. So you can capture your best moments and frame them on your bedroom wall. Number 7. Increase the Molotov area of effect. Right now Molotovs are really useful. I don't use them at all myself. I just use the flare gun because it is much more accurate. When I first threw the Molotov I was waiting for something like the CSGO Molotov but when I threw it for the first time <laughs> Number 8 Craftable signs with writable text. A lot of other survival games have craftable signs that you can write text on. If we had signs, we could put them on the front of our bedroom so we can differentiate which bedroom is owned by who. Or maybe put signs in the wilderness to warn other players of dangerous areas. Number 9. Make raccoon skin. This pretty much applies to other animals as well. Raccoons do not give anything else than meat. It would be cool to have raccoon skin so we can replace the rabbit skin in some builds or crafts. Number 10. Make mutants give something. Mutants currently don't give anything. They just are there to scare you and destroy your buildings. There's no incentive in killing them. I don't know what they could give. Maybe they could give giant bones or, or the cowman could give fat for something. I don't know. <laughs> Number 11, an endgame reward slash item. Right now, finishing the game doesn't give you anything in your current game. If you finish a game in a save file and then go back to that save file, you don't have anything else and you don't have anything new. It would be cool to see some item, I don't know, some new items, some new areas unlocked after you finish the game. You do unlock the creative mode after doing that, but you can't use that in the save you just finished the game in. Now let's switch to graphical stuff. Number 1. A dynamic skybox. I installed an EMB for Skyrim and I really wish the forest could look like that. Blue sky with clouds and the weather that changes the sky. Right now the forest doesn't have that kind of skybox. The skybox always stays the same, even when the weather changes. When I go play Skyrim I just see this beautiful blue sky, this world full of colors. But when I come back to the forest the, the sky is just grey. Number 2. Better looking trees. I don't know why, but since the upgrade to Unity 5, the trees have just gone bad. A game about a forest in which the trees look bad, that's kind of disappointing. Again, I wish the trees looked more like Skyrim's, or even, I know that's a lot to ask, but GTA 5's trees looked amazing. If they could base their model of these trees, it, the forest would just become much more lively, much more beautiful. Number 3. Change the color palette. I don't know why, but the forest just looks really foggy and really grey. I know what the forest is trying to be a horror game and trying to be spooky and all, but it just looks bad, really. The forest should have a bigger render distance and remove that goddamn fog. If you compare it with Skyrim, you can see distant mountains, but in the forest you just see fog all the time. Number 4. 
put brightness and contrast sliders in option menu. I don't know why, but there are no contrast and brightness sliders in the option menu. You should put that in there. It's a, it's a basic, basic slider, you know. Number five, optimize. My computer is way above capable of handling this kind of game or handling the Unity engine. But in the forest, I have these massive frame drops because of structure, especially. I don't know if the structures are responsible for that frame drop, but it seems like it. Let's switch to mechanics. Number one, the snow biome has nothing. To me, the snow biome was a very scary thing that you would explore when you're really late in the game and equipped. But it's really not that way. There is actually two things in the snow biome there is to see before you've seen everything. The first thing is the bomb pit in which there's a gun part, and the second thing is the boars. That's it. I wish they could develop that biome. There's currently no reason to go there except for the gun part to me. I wish it could be more than that. I wish it could be like a big area in which you, you have to equip yourself and get ready for it because it's a difficult area in which you can die at any instant. But it's really not like that right now. Number two, the arms eye sound. The arms eye currently has one sound when it's idle. It's just the same sound over and over again, only pitch shift. Please make more arms eye sounds. Number three, open book while sitting. You can't actually read the book when you're sitting right now, which is kind of ridiculous since uh, sitting is the best position for reading. Number four, make less structures and crafting items dependent on the rabbit skin. Right now, the rabbit skin is a very crucial element into the game. There is just so many things that use rabbit skin. The pouch takes two, the quiver takes three, the rabbit fur boots take three, the stick bag takes three, the rug bag takes three, trobo rug bag takes one, the chairs take two, the bed takes four, the stick frame takes one, the bone frame takes one. If you'd want to build all these things, you'd need 21 rabbit skin, and you can only carry three at once. Why not replace some of them with the raccoon skin I talked earlier about? Number five, rename and delete the save files. I can't remember which save file is which game. Why not be able to rename or delete the save files so you can use a title that makes you remember which game is which and delete the save files you don't want so you can save up space. Number six, more mutants and cannibal types. Right now there are a couple of cannibal types that only show up when you kill cannibals and make the cannibal presence higher. There are currently the skinnies, the talls, the masks, the painted cannibals. There are currently also the legs eye, arms eye, and cow but I wish there was more than that. I wish there was more creepier mutants. Why not make a crawler mutant? Why not make a super strong mutant? I wish there was more the three mutants that you could fight. Number seven, make boats viable. Right now the boats are just really not viable. I took a boat from my base to the yacht. It took way more time than going on foot at 50 athleticism. Except for going on islands, I would really not use a boat. They're just too slow and the boats are really buggy right now, especially when you are two players on the boat. Number eight, Disable PvP. PvP is kind of annoying, especially when fighting cannibals with your friends and you suddenly hit one of your friends accidentally. Or when you're shooting an arrow and one of your friends come and just rams into your arrow accidentally. <coughs> Number 9. Better farming. Except for having the achievement of eating only plants throughout the entire game, farming is just not viable at all. At a certain point, your plants disappear by themselves. Just why? I feel like if you plant something in your garden, you should be guaranteed to have a result. It doesn't give enough seeds to be efficient, it doesn't grow fast enough, it's just not viable. Number 10. Better cannibal sounds. I feel like the cannibal sounds sound too human. They don't sound like monsters enough. Which just makes it uncool. Number 11, more natural predators. There are currently three natural predators in the forest. The boar, the shark, and the crocodiles. All three will attack you when you approach them. However, the forest could have way more predators, like wolves, bears, coyotes, and more. I feel like it would really add to the whole experience and whole being in the forest thing. Number 12. Make sanity give you visual and auditory hallucinations. The forest sanity system doesn't do anything right now. If we take Don't Starve as an example, the sanity stat is really important. When your character's sanity goes to zero, you'll start hallucinating, your screen is gonna start to shake, animals are gonna change shape, and you'll start to see shadow monsters that are gonna try to kill you, and yes, you can die from them. It would be cool to see something like that for the forest. I know these are kind of different games, but you get the concept. Sanity should do something. 
Number 13. Make athleticism make you run faster. The athleticism stat only makes you regenerate stamina faster and drain stamina slower, but it could also make you run faster. Number 14. Different sound effect dependent on what you pick up. The forest has that annoying whoosh sound. Anything you pick up will do that hooch sound. I wish it could be more like Skyrim, again, which has sound depending on what you pick up. The forest should have that instead of a single sound effect for every single item in the game. Number 15. The ability to pause other player tape cassette in multiplayer. If one of your friends plays a tape cassette on a table or somewhere in the world, you can't turn it off. And since one cassette is one song that repeats itself endlessly, it is extremely annoying. Number 16. Prevent players from picking up items when they're already full. Do you know what happens when you try to pick up an item and you already have the maximum amount in your inventory? Some items will not do that though, like the tape cassette. Why not make that for every item? It's extremely annoying, especially when trying to pick up an item surrounded by other items. Number 17. Animals should flee when a projectile goes by them or lands close to them. I have tested this myself. Pretty much every animal in the game doesn't react at all when a projectile is launched close to them or lands close to them. And it doesn't only apply to projectiles. Animals will not run away from mutants or cannibals. It would make hunting more difficult, yes, but hunting right now is extremely easy, so I don't see it as a problem. Number 18. Areas built upon should become grassless. Cannibals, animals, rocks and sticks should not be able to spawn along with plants. If you build a platform over grass, the grass will stay there. Campfires, stone paths and shelters will remove the grass from under them. I don't know why it doesn't do that for every single structure, but it should to avoid certain bugs like this. Number 19. There should be an animation or a player position for going into bed. When you go into bed right now, there's just no animation. You just stand in front of your bed until every single player in your game is sleeping. It's kind of weird. What are you doing, man? What, what are you doing? Number 20. Players should not be able to destroy their own structures with melee. Now, a lot of people are gonna disagree with me on this, but I think the ability for a player to destroy their own structures with melee should be removed. We already have the hole cutter for that, which takes way less time to do and just avoids accidental hits on structures when fighting against cannibals. Number 21. Cannibals should be able to sneak up and ambush the players. A lot of the times we encounter cannibals, the players see the cannibals first. Maybe sometimes it should be the other way around. Maybe the cannibals should be able to ambush the players, take them by surprise, spook them, and it could bring some horror back to the forest. Number 22. Customizable characters, especially for multiplayer. Now this is a really optional addition. But, it could be cool to design our own character before jumping in the forest. Right now there are a couple of variations of characters, but building our own could be interesting. Number 23. Reduce every cannibal HP. Now I feel like this one is gonna be very very controversial. I think the cannibals are really annoying and slow and painful to fight. They take way too many hits and I just prefer to avoid them rather than fight them now because they are so long, painfully annoying to kill. The best way I found to kill them in one shot is with the arrows. Doing a headshot with the arrows kills them instantly. But with the melee weapons, it's not the same. I am not including the mutants because I think their health is perfect. I think they are really tough to kill and I think they should be. Number 24. More occasional music. The Forest Ost is amazing. I've listened to it multiple times, but I never heard it in the game. The only song I've heard in the game is the menu music. I wish there was more songs. Of course I think you should be able to disable it if you want to, but I think it would add so much to the experience to have some really spooky or quiet piano music playing when you get to a new area or something. Number 25. Indicate the time left before a meat goes spoiled. 
To take Don't Starve as an example again, the spoiling system is great. A fresh item will be green, and then the more time goes on, the bar will lower, it will become yellow, and then the item will become red, and then it will become rot. I feel like the forest should have a system like that, instead of the player being completely clueless about when your meat is gonna spoil. Number 26. Reduce the wind sound, or make it occasional. When you play for the first hours, you don't really notice the wind sound, but when you've been playing for hundreds of hours, it just gets really damn annoying. Anywhere you're gonna be on the island, you're gonna have a wind sound. It doesn't always have to be windy. Number 27. Cannibals should act more human. I feel like the cannibals should have more feelings. Sadness, fear, they should hunt, they should flee you, be happy, they should taunt you, and even talk. Imagine just cannibals talking in a weird language and just freaking you out. That would be really cool. On the forest website, it is advertised as if the cannibals are gonna be hard to kill because you're gonna feel bad for them. But in the game, it just feels like the cannibals are another source of bones and just want to kill them as fast as possible. In the trailer, they show a cannibal dragging his brother across the land, but I have never ever seen that in the game. Number 28. Remake the icon showing up when you try to place a drawing in a frame. The current icon is really misleading. If you'd want to place a drawing in the frame, you'd place your icon like this, right? Wrong. The drawing is actually placed way below the level of the icon. I feel like it could be remade so it's more accurate. Number 29. Show the crafting recipes when hovering your mouse in the inventory. The only way to know a crafting recipe for the items in this game right now is to go see the wiki. Yeah, of course, there are some crafting recipes in the book, but there are so many more crafting recipes that are not shown. And I wish we could know how to make these items in the game without having to go and check the wiki. Now let's switch to bug fixes. These bugs have been happening in the version 0.72, so I hope they're fixed by the time the game releases. As of version 0.72, if you are playing on a hosted game by one of your friends, and they are in full screen mode, and then tab out the game, the game will freeze, and the message host not responding will be displayed. You will still be able to grab items, but if you play structures, they will instantly disappear. And when the host re-enters the game, the structure's blueprint will reappear. I feel like this is quite annoying, especially when you are the host and we have to tab out of the game to go check the wiki or the map or something. It doesn't do that when the game is windowed, but it does do that when the game is full screen. As of version 0.72, there is still that really goddamn annoying bug of picking up logs while in midair. If you are in midair or just jumping and trying to pick up logs, it will drop itself automatically. This is extremely annoying, especially when you are a jumpy player like me and when you build a lot like me especially. As of version 0.72, to pick up meat from a drying rack at a certain angle, you have to look slightly to the right of the meat. If you aim directly on the meat, it doesn't work. You can't pick it up. So that's my The Force wish list I would like to have before the game releases. Of course, there are other things I would have loved to talk about, especially related to the horror feel of the game, and I wish it could come back, because the game is advertised as a horror game, and it just doesn't feel that way. I think that is also due to the fact that the cannibal come out during the day and I wish the game had a balance that during the day the actual predators would be the natural predators and during the night the predators would be the cannibals but that is just optional that is just a concept that would be interesting just like winters but that was my the force wish list I hope you agreed with me on certain points if you disagreed with me on certain points be sure to write your opinion in the comments I can't wait for this game to be a finished game and see how much it has grown since the first version Thank you for watching.